What's going on everybody? Tom here with Keto Lifestyle and today we're going to make a shelf stable macadamia nut cluster fat bomb. Now if you've ever had a friend go to Hawaii, they probably brought you something similar back as a souvenir. They're basically just macadamia nuts covered in chocolate. The box has a little hula girl on it. It's like the most popular thing to take back from Hawaii. Anyway, we're going to make those as a keto variety and these are also shelf stable. So what I mean by that is you can leave them out on the counter, toss them in your purse or backpack. They're going to be perfectly fine. They do not have to be refrigerated or in the freezer. But first things first, let me show you what they look like. Here is my finished product, and now I'm going to show you guys how to make them. First things first, you're going to need a scale, because this recipe, it's really hard to actually measure volume measurements with some of these ingredients, so it's really just easier to use weight. So I'm going to take my bowl here and just tear out my scale. The bowl is a little dirty from a previous take where it wasn't in focus, so that's what that is. But we're going to need 70 grams of cacao butter. Now cacao butter usually comes in a really hard brick, so what I'll do is I'll just slam it on the ground a few times to break it into chunks and then I'll weigh it out to get my 70 grams. Now you are gonna to need to melt this, whether you do that in the microwave or on the stove top, just get it melted and back in your bowl. To that, we are going to add 30 grams of unsweetened cocoa powder. You can use Hershey's brand, or if you can find one with a lower carb count, go for it. Just make sure that it's unsweetened. To sweeten this up, we're going to be using confectioner's erythritol. Now, I understand that what I have here is not confectioner's, which is why I put it in my food processor and pulsed it. But it's a lot easier if you just buy confectioner's erythritol. And for that, we are going to need 25 grams. In addition to our erythritol, we're going to use some stevia. So this is just liquid stevia made by Sweet Drops, and we're going to put 10 drops in there. The reason we don't use all stevia is it can add a funny aftertaste. So the mix of erythritol and stevia really prevents either one of them from becoming too funky with their individual characteristic flavors. Now we are going to mix this up and you're going to keep mixing this until it thickens up a bit. Now I'm on a granite countertop using a glass bowl so it actually is going to thicken pretty quickly. I really don't recommend sticking this in the refrigerator because cacao butter has this interesting property where it stays relatively liquid until it doesn't, meaning it hardens very quickly and you can sometimes miss the point where you need to be if you stick it in the fridge. But once it's thickened up a little bit, go ahead and add 165 grams of macadamia nuts. It's about a cup if you actually want to measure it with a volume measurement. And then I'm just going to go ahead and use a rubber scraper or in this case it's a rubber spoon to mix the nuts into the chocolate. If your macadamia nuts aren't salted, take this opportunity to put a little pinch of salt in there. Now we're actually going to make our clusters, and to do that, we're going to lay down a sheet of parchment paper. Now this is some pre-cut stuff that I get from Reynolds Wrap that I really like so I don't have to tear it myself, but we're just going to put some parchment paper on the counter. And then we're going to make our clusters on top of that. Now I'm using a Chinese soup spoon. I used to eat a lot of Chinese takeout when I wasn't keto, so I have a lot of stuff like this on hand. Anyway, I find that they're about the perfect size. You want about 8 to 10 nuts per cluster, and then you just go ahead and pour them into little lumps on the parchment paper. Now they will take a bit to cool. I'd say probably give it an hour or so. They will be cool to the touch before then, but it won't be nice and brittle like you want it when you snap a piece off. And here are the finished products. They have not cooled yet, as you can tell, because they're still shiny, but I'm gonna be back in about an hour when they fully cooled off. Now that you guys have seen how to make it, it is time for the taste test. But first, I just wanted to show you. Now, I've had this one in my hand for about three to four minutes now because I've had to reshoot this clip a few times. But you can see on my fingers, it's not melting. And that's just one of the properties of cacao butter. That's why I'm using it for this is because it doesn't melt very easily. Now, if you get to like 100 degrees for a while, it probably will. But in your hands, you're going to be fine. In your purse, in your backpack, it's going to be fine. But now, it's time for the taste test. These are awesome guys. It's probably one of my favorite fat bombs that I've ever made and especially since it's got over 91% fat in it. Now they are salty, they're just chocolate enough, you get the crunch of the macadamias. There's just such a wide variety of flavor and texture that this really satisfies me when I'm feeling hungry. So if you guys wanna make these, check out the description box. There will be a link to the recipe as well as the macros and anything else you need. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment sections. And if you have not subscribed yet, do me a huge favor guys, hit that subscribe button. Helps me out a lot and you get to see more awesome recipes like this. But with that, I will see you in the next one.